Welcome to Green Living Innovations YouTube channel. And today we continue with Microsoft Spreadsheet Mandarin course. Now today we're going to do the second important thing. Now we need to put in data. We're going to use data entry form. In the previous video, if you haven't watched it, uh, find it down in the link below because I've shared it. It is the continuation of what we did last time. Last time we installed the developer I showed you how to find some hidden options in Microsoft Excel like pivot power as well as data analysis pattern it is not common to find it on the ribbon there but you need to customize your ribbon and add it there so that you can quickly use it so what are we going to do to into this section in this section I will show you how to enter data easily using data entry form and this form makes your work so much easy to enter records and data into Microsoft Excel. So instead of just talking and me telling you what's in there, let's quickly jump on our pieces and see how that works. Here we are in Microsoft Excel. I'm having data here. So imagine that you are the human resource director and you have about 200 employees at your company. Now these people, you need to have their names, the employee numbers you need to give them, you need to know their departments, you need to know their qualifications, and you are the one who is entitled to allocating the salaries to them. Now, you need to enter people who are, have just joined your department or your company there. People, they are new, and you run the campaign there, and you have hired about 20 more people. Now, you need to save your time. Yeah, you can add them to this data. You can just go down there and type the name let's say uh, Joachim has just joined so I'm going to type Joachim you give him the number there you're going to give them the department yeah let's say has joined healthy and you're going to give them let's say degree yes degree in that then you're also going to allocate the salary so as you can see it can take your time imagine that you have uh, so many columns going up to this far you need to move that so it can be difficult for you so we need to save that time for you that's why I'm going to show you how you can install the data entry form and how you can use it efficiently great first and foremost we need to turn this data into a table remember in the previous video I explained why we really need to have a table so you can do that by using Control T as the shortcut then make sure that you have the tables there and you have the headers in the table and this is my table. Great, I've converted this data. Remember, this button that we are going to use, it is a powerful Microsoft Excel tool and it does not operate in the raw data without a table. So it operates well and it can give us 100% results only in a, a table. So here I'm having it. But if you don't have it already installed, you can simply come on file, click on file, go to options, and options come to, you are having Excel options here. So for beginners, you're having option Excels. Run down here and find quick access to bar. We need to have quick access to bar so that the patterns that we want to use or that we'll be using frequently, they are already on top and they are well isolated. So you can now come to commands. Now this command, in your PC, I know it is in the uh, commands that you don't regularly use. So it is in commands, not in ribbon. So click on commands, not in ribbon. Then scroll down, down, down until you find the form here. Once you find that form, click add. Now me, I already have it. So let me try to remove it so that I can show you. Great. Then click on the form. There have. Then you can add. Then click OK. Good. There you have. So don't worry if it is not showing to you. Simply click on home, right click, then come on the second option, which is saying show quick access to bar above the ribbon. Then click OK. Just click on it. Then you're going to have something like this. So good. Let's start now entering the data. Remember I said we have 20 new employees who are joining our company. So we don't want to start moving this data from where and where. So if I come here and I say 
this can't apply to the selected range because I'm out of the table. So I need to be within the table. I need I can come here at N1. Let me pick maybe that a Jennifer there or anywhere in the table within just the table. Then I come here. As you can see, I'm having it. And uh, now this dialogue is explaining what I have. So Lukondo Mulenga, as you can see, is the first person on top here. I've been Lukondo Mulenga and I'm in the employee number, the department, I'm having the qualification, as well as the salary here. Very correct. And is one of 25. So if I click on find next, it's going to give me the person who's next and his or her details. Great. So my main interest here is I want to add someone new has just joined. So click on new. Then this person is Edmond. Then the employee number. Don't worry about the employee numbers. It can be so difficult for you to start mastering the number of employees. Let's say 56, 93, 0, 0 whatsoever. It can be quite difficult for you. So you can skip that part and come to the department. The department is the criteria that you need to describe. You already know in which department have we employed this person. So Mr. Edmond let's say has joined in in health also there. Is the health professional then the qualification is holding a diploma so type that then the salary we are going to give him let's say six thousand eight hundred and eight nine point uh, because we are i'm the human resource director and you are the human resource director so you know exactly how much people in health they get those who are holding diploma so for that you need to put it in then you can click enter so let me try to confirm if Mr. Edmond is there, great. I'm having Mr. Edmond is in healthy diploma, and that's the salary that I gave him. Right, good. Now, I'm not having his employee number. It's very simple. Just drag the formula down here and put it there. Make sure that it is filled in series. Then I've given him that. Then we need another one. Yeah, we have another person. Sorry for that. I went out of the table. I have another person who is joining us, and this is. Uh, this is Madam Martha, so I can just click on there for employee number. Don't worry, department is coming in accounts, accounts department. Then the qualification is holding a degree there. Then his salary, it's, it's 8,500. That's the salary, it's 8,500. So to avoid that error that you just saw, where I'm typing in the same box, you can use the tab button, the tab button, and I click enter, having Madam Martha there, who else I'm adding, yeah, I'm adding Madam Tiju, Madam Tiju there, so, the employee number said, don't worry about that, the department is coming in agricultural department, so I can simply type that, agricultural department, yeah, then, qualification is holding a diploma, so simply type that, then come to the salary there, how much are we giving him, it's 5,600, yeah, then click enter, then you are going to find that these people there are automatically added and in order, so to give them the, uh, the, the numbers, don't worry, just the same, drag the formula, make sure that it is filled in series, there we are, we have used data entry form to make our work easy. Great. Let me explain some features of this now. You saw that we have new and we have used this button. New. What if Lukondo Mulenga is just a mistake? I don't need this person to be there. It's a mistake. I can use this button to delete. Yeah. Say permanently. Yes. And as you can see, Lukondo Mulenga is permanently gone. We have deleted him from the database. But if I say that was a really mistake, was a mistake and say that was a mistake how can I do that I can clean up this one I also clean this then I can click on restore so I'm going to find that that has been restored yeah then I'm going to click that good enter enter good so that is how it works so I can even find preview 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 until I reach the first person there. Then there is a criteria again that I need to use. So the criteria, it is best if you want to shift one person from the department there. 
Great. Let's say I want to find Madame Jennifer. Now in this criteria, you need to describe where he is. This is just the name. I can have two Jennifers or ten, but I need to be specific in which department can I find Madame Jennifer. It is in engineering department. Madame Jennifer is found in engineering department. So simply click that. Then his qualification is degree. He's holding a degree paper there. Then imagine that we didn't really know this. We were searching for one person. We have a lot of data that you need to go through. Now instead of start searching one by one, that we need to search for someone. For instance, let's say uh, we need to search for let's say Arnold because he was he went back to school and he has upgraded. Yeah. Now we all know that only we can remember thing is, the only thing that we can remember is his name, Arnold. We don't know which department he's holding in. Yeah, we can know that. Now let's just search for him like that. Just type the name and type uh, enter. You're going to find that just given him his employee number, department, engineering, and they said it's to agree now. We need to change this to upgrade him to masters. He went to school this one. He's holding a masters and the pay we have increased to ten thousand uh, six hundred and fifty. There then click enter. Great. So let's see that if it has changed. Let's try to find Arnold. Arnold said that it's nineteen here. So as you can see now, it has changed to masters and is holding ten thousand seven hundred fifty. So basically, this is how we use a data entry form in Microsoft Excel to make our work pretty much easy. Now, what you need to remember is that you need first to formulate a table. If you want to install it, you can go on File, go on Option, then select a Quick Access Toolbar there. Then make sure that you find the form, install it, and click OK. Then secondly, you need to make sure that your data is well grouped and you can read things accordingly. So if you like this video, please comment, share, and like it. Then subscribe so that you, you get uh, notified when I post another video. So thank you very much for watching. See you on the next video.